I'm Shirley from Shirl's Divine Plant Styling. Um, I've been away for a little while, 10 months actually, and I'm starting to make some videos again. Uh, the reason for that was because um, we had a fire. Uh, it took, it damaged half of the house. Um, it damaged the garden, the garage, uh, the roof, um, all of my trees, all, all over there, I had about 20 fir trees. Some of them are still standing, but I'm having to cut them all down. They are literally black and they're very tall trees. Um, they've been there since I moved in, you know, it's just awful. But anyway, the point is I'm trying to explain what happened and um, the fact that I'm coming back. Um, and we had to go and live, as you can imagine, in rented accommodation. We had no electricity, no heating, no hot water. Uh, we couldn't stay here. The place was just covered in ash. All of this room was ash. All of those rooms were ash. And the back rooms were completely black, soot. It was just awful. Um, so much was damaged. Um, all of my kitchenware, every, I couldn't use anything. It was just murder. Uh, anyway, um, we managed to get the plants into this room and um, this room was the least affected but it was still ashy, all the walls and so forth and um, as I said they, they insisted that we went into rented accommodation, into hotels and things but in November, four and a half months later, um, I, I'd had enough of that life and um, there just wasn't enough done in my house quick enough. So I decided that um, my son and I, we were going to clean the house and we were going to get rid of all the ash and the soot. Well, we couldn't get rid of the black soot, I'm sorry, we had to shut the door to that. That had to be done by, you know, serious um, people who can really deal with that sort of thing. But we did the kitchen and the lounge and the hallway and uh, we even tried we're still working on it now our patio because it was kind of winter and we really had to deal with the house first um, we had heating through a generator and my son learns all about generators and i'm telling you that is no easy thing to learn about um, people think you just plug them in and switch them on and that's that but i'm sorry it just isn't um, and we came over here, we had to leave our bird here, there was nowhere that we could take our bird, nowhere, no rented accommodation, hotel or anything. So he had to be in the furthest room in the back. Um, our dogs, uh, our eldest dog, she was very, very ill during, we, we came home you see, they phoned us, we were out working in another, in the main city, uh, an hour and a half away. And uh, they phoned us, uh, the firemen, and said, you know, your house caught fire. We'd left our dogs here while we went to work. Um, so we were just in panic. We, we drove here. I don't know how I drove. We drove here. And the dogs were in the yard here on the patio. They called a vet because she wasn't breathing hardly. And um, they, they looked after and brought her around. So, you know, gosh, it was dreadful. Anyway... In November, as I say, we finally got back. We cleaned, we painted, we decorated, we did all and everything we could. And um, we saved whatever we could save because so much of our stuff, if my son had the clothes he was standing in, there wasn't another stitch in the house that belonged to him. Um, so we really, really had to work like crazy to to look after the both of us and our dogs and our plants anyway we had all the plants in here in the end uh with the windows open i came here every third day we looked after our bird and the plants and um some of my plants unfortunately didn't survive but that was not too many thank goodness some have sort of suffered a bit but we've brought them back um my african violets gone I don't know what it was, the, the leaves, whatever, they couldn't take the ash. They were actually in the kitchen and the ash was worse there. Um, but my streptocarpus survived. They did very well. And I've, the babies, because if you remember, I had some babies at the time last year. They have now flowered. This one is Harlequin Blue. 
she's actually won awards. She's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful. As she gets bigger, so she'll throw up more and more flowers if you don't know about the streptocarpus. And they flower from April, early April, right through till October. And then they just, somewhere at the end of October, they kind of stop and that's it. And then they just rest. Um, so you let them rest. Anyway, this one is Harlequin Blue. And then there's this one. I'm showing you because I'm proud, because I have managed to save something. <laughs> this one is, um, yeah, Harlequin Damsel. She's just divine. She's so pretty, so pretty, so very like, almost orchid-like, isn't it? And then my lovely big one here, she survived too. I'm forever forgetting what she's called. She's Carnival. She's had some flowers, lost a few, and she's got a few left and some buds coming up now. And she's a beauty. And she has lots of them. She had a, a huge amount of them, but one or two have died down now, so she'll start throwing more up. She's lovely. And another one down here I have, which um, hasn't flowered yet, but it's a baby, it will flower. And while we've been away, we've, um, well, been away from you, that is, we came back, as I say, we bought a few new plants. We bought a lovely, lovely yellow orchid my son bought me, surprised me one day. <laughs> so beautiful, so full of sunshine, and that's what we needed. We needed brightness, sunshine, flowers, you know, you name it. And we bought ourselves some amaryllis, almost forgot the name. Um, and this one is um, Red Lion. And she's beautiful. They're bulbs, if you don't know about them. Um, you keep them in storage until the required date. Then you bring them out, you water them, just like you would a plant. Um, and they throw up these very tall stalks. Um, and then suddenly out come little buds. And she's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight flowers they don't all have eight she had eight and just look at the size of those flowers aren't they beautiful and when your first stalks flowers die down um then usually you have a second stalk but this is the second one for her she her first stalk is all finished now this is her second stalk and they throw up on the second stalk so that as the first flowers it's almost it's timed by nature it's just amazing the, the first set of flowers die down, so the next bulb, um, it's like a giant bud on the end of the long stalk here, opens to the buds, the little buds, uh, and then the flowers come through. And we've, we've bought ourselves a few. We've got one ready for Christmas. I think I've got two for Christmas. And we had a lovely pink one. She's somewhere in the house. Um, I think her flowers have just died down. I don't know what I've done with her now. But she, she's lovely too. So I thought I'd mention her to you. I'm trying to think what I've got here that I didn't have before. I think you saw my beautiful, beautiful, lovely, um, we call her Luna. Uh, she's a, a half moon and she's absolutely lovely. Um, she's growing now. There she is. She's sweet. She's got gorgeous leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. But it's amazing that anything survived because, um, you know, they went from extreme cold to extreme heat. And then when we came back, um, the only heating that we had, and is the same at this moment, by the way, we haven't actually got our heating back yet, was our stove, our fire stove. And I mean, they are marvelous things to have. Uh, they radiate heat throughout the room and then in throughout your doors, into your own rooms. So we were able to keep our lounge and our kitchen warm in the day, in the winter. And then when it got into the evening, we closed the kitchen door, opened the bedroom's doors and let the warmth into those. And, and that's how we got through. 
But of course the plants suffered a bit because some of them couldn't take the heat. And um, you know, our um, Monsteras, George here by the way, he survived, my George. I call him George, we've had him for 35 years, just in case you don't know. Um, and our Luna here, she also um, did very well. Um, and we've now got a bird of paradise. She's looking lovely, really good. Um, you know, but some of them, they their leaves at the ends would, would go brown. She has a little brown on her still, I've got to cut that off because of this excessive heat that we had to have. And then if I put them in the kitchen, uh, that was really cold at night because of the drop, you know, in temperature during the winter. And there's a lot of plants just can't take that. So, oh, oh dear me, it was very difficult trying to get the right balance. I used to put some plants in the furthest part of the lounge, um, as far away from the fire as possible, but still to have some warmth. Anyway, we got through, we, we've got through, and now we're about to have our central heating on. They tell me at the end of next week, so I'm really looking forward to that. Because with no hot water, the only way you can have showers is to warm it up with kettles. <laughs> I'm telling you. And we had a camp and shower in a great big tub of warm water. And this was our shower. But it was home or not home. It was save the house or just, you know, leave it to whoever, whenever. I mean, they still haven't finished the work now, so I wouldn't even be home if I hadn't have taken that step. So um, for any of you that might go through this yourself, I mean, don't be afraid to roll your sleeves up. You know, you can, you can do it. You just got to grit your teeth, say, this is mine. I have to protect it and just do what I did as best you can. Obviously, if you've got babies and children, you can't do that sort of thing. We're adults, so we manage. Um, and so I was just showing you a few of my plants. Um, this one here, um, my fig, she's doing really, really well. Uh, she's grown quite a bit since we bought her. We bought Because what we did was we found that we needed to heal. Um, we were very bothered by everything. And um, we still wanted plants around us. So when we were living away from home, those early months, we bought the odd plant and put them on windowsills and tables around us just so that we felt that nice feeling of it's almost home from home, you know. And so we did, we bought a few plants. And um, so what I'm going to do now is get back into the saddle and bring a few videos forward for you. Um, I've got some ideas. I'd like to do uh, a video on the amaryllis. Um, I've started filming a little bit on my patio because my patio is covered in ash, soot, you name it. Um, you know, <laughs> things had to be done. We've Since we've had the nicer weather, and it hasn't been really nice, that nice, um, we bought ourselves another um, power wash. Uh, because I haven't told you, but the fire took everything. It took my ride-on mower down, burnt down, melted down to a skeleton of, of iron or metal, whatever it is you call it. All of my tools, and I have a lot of them, gone. Melted, fried, dissolved, you name it, they're gone. Um, so everything... Everything had to be bought by scratch. Uh, so we got this power wash and we've been going at the um, pavement, trying to reclaim the pavement on our patio. And I've done a little tour of the garden, even though it's not at its best because the grass is up to here. Uh, my pond is not too good. All of my fish got murdered by creatures while we were away. I had coys, you name it. Um, but you know, I know I've been through a disaster and I'm just explaining what happened, but I'm back and I am going to continue rebuilding and reclaiming my house and bringing through new videos. So I'm hoping that you'll join me in my new videos. One of them will be the tour of the garden as it is and then the getting better 
areas of the garden as I do them up and bring them back to life and so be it also with the plants in the house so I oh, don't feel too bad for me because I've come through I'm now in the process of renewal, rejuvenation <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you all again in my new video thank you bye bye, bye, -bye.